it's harder to spend time in prison than to quickly just be killed. I think it's a more just punishment, really, and it gives them a chance for redemption. So all around, I just think it's, I was very much against the death penalty. Diane Foley wants the two men convicted of taking her son's life to live out their lives in prison. She believes the third man involved, Mohammed Mwazi, nicknamed Jihadi John, didn't face full justice when he was blown up in a drone strike in 2015. When Mwazi was killed, he didn't even know what was happening. And so this way they have a chance to think about what they did and really they have a chance to repent and heal themselves. Diane says after meeting Alexander Cote face to face, she understands the gravity of the punishment he will endure. Through his own losses, I mean, he'll never see his family as three little girls, you know, throwed me the picture of his little girls. You know, he, so he's losing too. I mean, this is, so to me, this is, much more accountability than the death penalty. He felt so strongly about the need to share with the rest of the world what was happening in Syria, um, what was happening to innocent people there, how people were being tortured by the Assad regime. Thank heavens for people like James Foley, for those people who are reporting on the war in Ukraine, because without that, we wouldn't know what's going on, and we wouldn't be able to respond in the way that we need to.